welcome to our new video <clears throat> today we're gonna tell you uh we're gonna show you we're going to learn that's the best way to use how to connect your canon mf628 cw but it's not the only canon this one like which uses the same procedure i'm going to show you there are a couple of them like there's a 82 because this one is 62 there's a 8284 for something that many but i'm gonna put them in the description so if you're not using the same machine but it's a canon with the mf six something it's gonna be the same procedure don't worry about that so we're gonna go um and do something good so something easy so don't worry just relax so what you got to do is you have to you have to do what you have to go to um menu here when you click on menu press on menu and say tip once you see a menu like this then roll in your you don't have to scroll anyway because it's network settings the first one you click on that then first click on this the first one say wireless choose what LAN or wireless so we choose wireless instead of choosing LAN. okay after that then we can say okay that's fine then we're gonna go to wireless LAN settings click there okay after do this you say okay see okay it's gonna show you all of this what what we're gonna say we're gonna say ssid setting ssid setting ss ssid setting say press there then say enter manually or select point so you cannot you can if you want but it's gonna search for us click here yeah it's got all of these they are here there's gaza there's bangladesh there's Mukize there's no get something you can scroll down if you can't see yours but these are only what we see so what you do i'm gonna connect to this gaza okay say put in the key so click there so after selecting there we're gonna delete what is in here and we start the application of this so i'm gonna put uh press here M. okay okay um then add we're looking for add add symbol i think we can get it here okay see so you get it here add symbol got it on one though they didn't write it but what you put it you're gonna put, get it there uh then you write other stuff let me see okay the password is so uh, can see still writing is giving you a capital letter but it could be not capital you delete that then i think you can press a a again okay it doesn't give you small letters but it's fine what you do you delete this you press g mm -hmm. go 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 no it still does that but what i need to do is to delete and uh, uh, i press ash key when I press there, okay. When I press there, it gives me sign symbol. Press again, doesn't give me okay. Okay, we leave that. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna say next. Let me try next, okay. Okay, okay, that is not working for me but the only problem is just to put in the password put in on capital letter or small letters let me go here press that button doesn't doesn't work for us um let me push what the, this one let me push and don't stop okay still doesn't give me what i want um what can I do now? What? Right. Tell me what guys I want to. Okay. What I need to do is to get access to the. Okay, let me click here. Okay, you can see when you click there, it changes. Okay, now it went to A. Oh, that's good. You can see when you click here, you'll be able to change to letters, no matter to small A. So now I need small letters. Okay, that's good. Mm okay okay 
okay a get me a okay then i'm gonna go to letters okay okay say so apply say so do okay connecting let's give it time it's still blinking once it's straight then it's gonna be like connected failed why it failed um that was the, the it has to do with the password everything has to do with the password i'm gonna go back and say enter then search say gaza um let me go back see go back you see i'll take this i'll take that so say okay okay then we're gonna delete what is in there let's start with the capital m i'll say uh, okay add small letters <coughs> sorry okay then small letters okay i'll leave it like that then i say when i'm, I'm sure that i'm fine then i can say uh apply say yes fail again wow okay let me try another I'm going to try another username and password. But that's the way you do things, guys. But anyway, I want to connect when you're here. Um, I can use this. I'm going to use a different one, right? Uh, I'm going to say. Okay. Still, I'm going to delete that and say. It shouldn't blink. It should be stable. I'm going to use a different wifi. Okay. Yeah. So apply. Yes. If it becomes stable, it means it's gonna yeah, you see. It said connected so once it's connected it's gonna be stable like this so you can be able to print now wherever you are even maybe on your phone using your the same network but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back because i don't like that then i'll i'll try to see get the password for that for this Let's say okay um, Okay, I will say uh, capital M. See. Okay, okay. Remember, remember, I tried that. It didn't work. What I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say. try it in a different way failed this is something which i don't think i'm getting it right on the password but i'll show you how to connect but the thing why i was fighting for getting the right password is that uh, i could do more uh, 
why it kicks me out. Okay, that shows you that my the, the machine is kicking me that uh, thing out, but you've seen how to connect. I just use this, put in the password. It shouldn't blink when it's connected. I'm gonna connect to a different one. This one, say okay. That is was the same password we we're using before. Just say apply, say yes. They, they should be not blinking and it should show you that connected. If it takes time, it means it fails. Okay, yeah, the, then it's fine. I'm gonna get it forgets the the password. Okay, I'm gonna put in a new password. It shouldn't blink. Okay, I'm gonna delete all that. You know, say, all right. Okay. After that, you say apply. Say so yes, it should say connected and doesn't have to take longer when it's connecting. You see, it's connected, it didn't even take longer. Then you can see there's no blinking. So the machine is okay, the machine is online. So there's no need for you to do anything. So you just go to any machine, computer, which is connected to it, then search for the machine, then you're fine. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.